Hey, welcome to Joe for Jeff. I'm Jeff. And today I thought I'd share with you my CED disc collection. Now you're probably asking yourself, Jeff, what are CED discs? Well, they stand for Capacitive Electronic Disc, and it's an analog movie format, big in the early 80s, but died out around 1984. Um, picture it like this. A record, a vinyl record, and a laser disc have a baby. Now I don't know how the relationship worked, maybe the laser disc player just got out of a relationship and the vinyl record was just looking for a good time and I don't know how that ends up. Anyway, the CED disc was a format that was supposed to compete with videotapes. You'll get about the same kind of quality. Um, the problem is, is that they wear out. Um, the discs themselves, you uh, put them in a player, pull out a sleeve, and there's a stylus like a record player that reads the disc and puts out a, a video image. And I guess the, the main advantage was they were really cheap. They cost about 20 bucks for a movie. And back when videotapes were expensive, that was their big advantage over videotape is that price. So I do collect CEDs, but I don't actively collect for them. Um, it's just a matter of me. If I run into one at a good price, I'll buy it. Usually I can find them in thrift stores or pawn shops for about 99 cents, which is probably what I pay for them. Um, the reason is, I don't have a CED player anymore. I started collecting because I found a CED player at a pawn shop and when I went to go buy it, it had already sold. So here I am with all these CED discs. How I found out about the uh, system is I bought a laser disc off of eBay and it said it was a laser disc. It was for Hospital Massacre. And when I got the disc, I looked at it and went, what the hell is this? It looks nothing like a laser disc. Go back to read the uh, eBay listing and it says video disc, which is what these were called. So technically he wasn't lying, however I was a little upset. Let me show you what I got and I'll show you how they work. So this is a CED and the whole thing kind of reminds you of one of those little floppy disks you used to put in the computer. They kind of work the same way. What you do, you take the disk like this and there's some tabs right here. You will slide it into the machine the machine will catch the little pins here and then it will eject the disc again and the disc part inside will stay in the machine and then when it's time to take it out you'll take the plastic slip shove it back into the machine it will reload back into here and then it will eject out the whole thing pretty cool pretty cool um, like I said the quality isn't that great and these wear out you can only watch these about 500 times and then they're useless and Another thing I learned, don't stack them on a table like that because if this pushes in too much from stacking them, uh, it'll touch the disc and you cannot touch the disc at all with these. In fact, that's why they're in the sleeve. You cannot touch the disc. It has a coating on it that will be disrupted if you touch it. So, But this is my first one, Deadly Blessing. And I haven't picked this up on Blu-ray yet, but uh, I ran across this one in a private collection. I said, I gotta have it. I love this movie. And I'd love to watch it, so hopefully someday I get a CED player. Uh, until then, it looks pretty cool. We got Chuck Norris, Missing in Action. Again, love this movie. Gotta have it. Uh, the Changeling. This is a uh, ghost story with um, George C. Scott. It's very rare you run into a CED that is not available on another format. So. There's nothing in here that's super rare, but like I said, if I come across a movie that I like, I think it'd look pretty cool if I put it on the wall or something. Charles Bronson, 10 to Midnight. Yeah. Uh, this is the one that's more of a serial killer movie. Chuck, uh, Charles Bronson plays a cop, as always. And uh, here's the thing about CED discs. I don't know if any of these work because you need a player to put them in. These could all be like dead and I wouldn't know. The Soldier with Ken Wall. I saw this on TV actually when it came out. It looks pretty cool. Sharky's Machine. My parents took me to see this when I was a little kid. Ten years old, they took me to a rated R Burt Reynolds movie. Holy fuck. Visiting hours. I only bought this because of William Shatner. Uh, that and the, the skull thing looks pretty cool. 
I wouldn't mind watching this again. Uh, this one I bought off eBay. This is why I don't buy CED discs off of eBay anymore. This, according to the seller, was very good condition. It is not in very good condition. I'm not even sure it works. I love the movie. It's on DVD. I haven't had a chance to find one. It went out of print pretty quick. Um, I had one, got rid of it, and then when I went back to buy it, the price had just shot up. This is a really good movie. And I would love to have a CD player to watch it again. Because that's the only copy I have. He knows you're alone. I have this on DVD. That too is out of print and hard to find. I have this on Vudu. I have the ultraviolet copy. So it's nice to have this one. One of these days, I'm just going to cover a wall with my CED discs. And, by the way, the most I've paid for a CED disc is about five bucks. And I think that was just one disc. The rest, it's either a dollar I found in a collection somewhere or three dollars at the store. Psycho 2. My favorite Psycho movie. I've, I should buy this on Blu-ray. Raiders of the Lost Ark. I love me some Indiana Jones. Um, I have it on Blu-ray, I have it on DVD, I have it on Laserdisc. I just figured, why not? Let's put it on, on CED. Okay, Space Hunter, Adventures in the Forbidden Zone. Peter Strauss. Molly Ringwald. Um, this is a pretty weird movie. Not a lot of people remember it from the 80s. I think this came out in like 85. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. I saw it when I was a kid. And I came across this in somebody's collection and for three bucks I said, yeah. This is the last CED I bought. And I haven't bought another one since. Endangered Species. I have no idea what this movie is about. I've never seen this movie. I like Robert Urich. That's pretty much it. And The Sound of Music and a couple other like musicals were all they had left in their collection, so I didn't want to walk away empty-handed. It's in pretty good shape. I still don't know what it's about. So, would I recommend you start collecting CED discs? God, no. Um, they're pretty good. They look good on the shelf, but like I said, the quality is that of a VHS tape. You can find all of these on other formats and CED players are getting harder and harder to find. I'm kicking myself because I had the money. I went to the pawn shop and they said, okay, $85 today. And I had $85, so it wasn't a big deal. But then I was like, but if I use that money, I can't buy my Core Graphics 2 video game system that I was gonna buy. So it was like, okay, CED player, Core Graphics 2, you know, nobody's going to buy that CED player, so I'll just let that sit for a day, and then I'll get my, my uh, Tur TurboGrafx Japanese version, and I'll come back and get the CED player. And when I went back, like a week later, it was sold. Who would have thought? It's a CED player. But, it was a, it, what kills me is it was a later model. It was like a 1984 model, so it was really good. And it was only $85. Those things sell for over $150. I totally should have bought it. My mistake. Well, that's my CED collection. Like I said, I don't actively hunt for them. Uh, if I run across one that I really want, I'll pick it up. But it can't be that much. Um, the local um, resale shop around here, they just had a huge box of them. And they wanted five bucks each. And then what they did, which really annoyed me, is they took their store sticker and slapped it right on the CED. Those things don't come off. If you peel them off, you'll start peeling off the label. Kind of annoyed the hell out of me. So, it's a casual thing, I guess. I collect laser discs more than I collect these. And hopefully someday, when I get my rec room set up, I will have a CED player on the shelf. Well, thanks for joining me, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.